This Vex Describe movie is intended for all those who have downloaded the trial version or have just purchased the studio version of Vector Scribe and wish to experiment with a few of the tools quickly. Once installed, you will see the four new icons in the toolbox here, which is the Dynamic Shapes tool, the Dynamic Corners tool, the Path Scribe tool, and the Dynamic Measure tool. Before we can start this demonstration, we first need to open the panels and to do so you go up to the Illustrator menu and click on Window, Vector Scribe, Dynamic Shapes panel. We'll go back again and click on the Dynamic Corners panel and finally we'll need the Path Scribe panel. With these panels open, we can now start drawing. I'm first going to change to the Dynamic Shapes tool. I can either do that by clicking on the Dynamic Shapes icon in the toolbox or clicking on the panel that's just been opened here. And for this demonstration I'm going to draw a star. I'll click on the star and I'll start drawing the star out around here and then I'll hold down the Shift key to make sure it's a perfectly vertical star. I then We'll go back to the Dynamic Shapes panel and click on the down icon for the number of points so it becomes a three point star. I then want to modify it a little bit further. Remember this is a dynamic star so it can be modified in any way. So I'm going to go to this internal point on the star and then click with the mouse button on the point and then hold down the command key or in Windows the control key and start dragging. And I release it to around this shape here. I will next go to the select tool and I'm going to compress this shape. It's going to actually break the dynamic attribute but I don't need the dynamic attribute anymore now I've got this shape. And I'm going to squash it by dragging one of the side handles. And I hold down the out key so it actually squashes around the center point. If I don't hold down the out key, I'm squashing to the right hand side in this case. So I just hold down the out key here and I squash it so it looks a bit like that. Now I'm going to change to the path scribe tool. I'm going to click on the icon in the toolbox and I'm going to start dragging straight away on one of these lines here. And I'm going to drag like so. And you can see that I'm dragging a straight line into a curve and the curve is remaining perfectly under the pointer, so it's very controllable. So I'm going to just drag it like that. I'm going to drag this line segment into a curve as well. Then I do the two corresponding segments on the opposite side. It's slowly starting to resemble a chunky flame. So I'm going to first ensure that these points, this point here, and this point here, which the Pathscribe tool annotates as corner points, and change them into smooth points. To do so I drag a marquee box over the two points and then in the path scribe panel I'm going to click on the smooth point button. Now I've done that I'm going to go to the dynamic corners tool and again I can just click on the panel to change to that tool and by default I've got a five millimeter corner radius setup if you've already experimented with the tool and got a larger radius, just type in 5 and press the return key. And now I'm going to apply some corner radii to the bottom points. To do so in one go, I hold down the Alt key and drag a marquee box over the three points like this and let go. And you can see some small dynamic corners have been applied automatically here. I'm going to enlarge them all at the same time by dragging one of the center points and as you can see it's perfectly rounding the lower portion of the flame. Once I've dragged that out I can individually alter them if I wish by clicking somewhere else to deselect and then selecting a corner radius and dragging it a bit further or a bit less like so. And again I can select all three by dragging a marquee box over all three center points. And if I wish to adjust this flame a little bit further, I can always hold down the Alt key 
and drag these corners and as you can see the corners are all remaining completely dynamic but I'm going to drag it so it's a little bit longer the flame like so. As a basic flame shape that is exactly what I was after and was achieved using three key tools in Vectorscribe trial version or Vectorscribe Studio. If you wish to finish this demonstration and have created this artwork in the blank demonstration file, you can go to the Graphic Styles panel, as shown here, where the example file has a preset graphic style which can be applied to this path now to finish the flame effect. I'll just click on the graphic style. and the effect is completed.